Welcome my fellow friends to a video regarding United Airlines. Now guys, there's some very interesting news that's brewing in the industry regarding United and there are a few rumours which are circulating saying that the carrier is planning to place a huge order for the Airbus A321LR. Now currently the airline has 77 of the 757-200 and 300 models in their fleet. But as we know these planes are relatively old and in need of a replacement. But what's interesting to me regarding this news is that for quite a while we know that they've shown interest in the Boeing 797 and now they're expressing their interest in the 200 and 300 models in their fleet. But as we know these planes are relatively old and in need of a replacement. But what's interesting to me regarding this news is that for quite a while we know that they've shown interest in the Boeing 797 and now they're expressing their interest for the LR. Now some people would think that this is mind games from United to push the 797 program. Whether it is this news is that for quite a while we know that they've shown interest in the Boeing 797 and now they're expressing their interest for the LR. Now some people would think that this is mind games from United to push the 797 program. Whether it is or not, one thing is for sure and that is that Airbus will receive a massive payday if the deal goes forward. Now United alongside Delta used the 757s to operate their transatlantic routes. We're not going to dive too deep into the functionality of the 757 but we can safely say that it makes a great amount of money for the airlines and it accommodates demand really well. Each of the 757s that United now operates carries around 169 passengers and if they do go forward with their proposal then they're looking at a seating configuration of 178 seats. They've also expressed their interest for the A321neo ACF which is the Airbus cabin flex version which has a capacity of around 240 seats. But according to the CEO, this is looking at a seating configuration of 178 seats. They've also expressed their interest for the A321neo ACF which is the Airbus cabin flex version which has a capacity of around 240 seats. But according to the CEO, this option might be an overkill because they don't want to be flying empty seats and losing revenue on an already profitable route. Now in a 240 seater configuration, the rows would provide a seat pitch of just 28 inches. For a 5-7 to seven hour flight, they don't want to go down this direction because surprisingly they have the needs of the customer in mind. But if they did want to, they could actually do it. For example, Wow Air already operates the A321neos configured with 220 seats with a pitch of 30 or 31 inches and majority of their flights extends at least 5 hours in flight duration. Now Norwegian are also expecting to receive their first A321LR and they currently operate the Max 8s configured with 198 passengers on transatlantic services. So Norwegian could conceivably configure its A321LRs to offer a seat pitch of 29 inches. Now the CEO has also stated that the cruising speed of the LR is lower compared to the 797. The LR has a cruising speed of So Norwegian could conceivably configure its A321LRs to offer a seat pitch of 29 inches. Now the CEO has also stated that the cruising speed of the LR is lower compared to the 797. The LR has a cruising speed of 0.78 whereas the Dreamliner has a speed of 0.85. Now to us it might not seem like much but it can have a negative knock-on effect by using the plane on shorter routes. But despite the seat issues and the performance of the plane, they're still very much interested. If the plane was to be installed with a third fuel tank, then the LR would offer sufficient range for even longer transatlantic services and I believe this will cater to the needs of the airline. As well as being more fuel efficient than the 757, the A321LR would be able to carry more passengers for United. So guys, that's some very interesting news regarding United Airlines. If I'm being honest, then I think the LR is only a temporary solution until the 797 comes of age. Many airlines have faced the same problem of whether they should wait or wait. So guys, that's some very interesting news regarding United Airlines. If I'm being honest, then I think the LR is only a temporary solution until the 797 comes of age. Many airlines have faced the same problem of whether they should wait or go for the next best solution. Delta seems adamant on the arrival of the 797 whereas other airlines seem fairly relaxed in searching for other options. Nevertheless, this will be a great achievement for Airbus to encourage a big US carrier to purchase the plane. We'll just have to wait and see how this unfolds. So captains, leave your thoughts and opinions if you have any in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.